Hi, I'm Jenna with Tiny House Giant Journey. We're here at Cypress Valley, just outside of Austin, Texas, to tour the Nest Tree House designed by Artistry. Let's go check it out. Nice to meet you. This is Will Bilehars. He's the designer and founder of Artistry, and he's going to be taking us through the nest. So, so glad you're here. Thank you. So let's check out the bathroom first, because they usually use this as a rental property, and this is where everyone would be able to use the facilities. Okay. I know you have a lot of live edge going on. Yeah, we just like to leave things as close to nature as intended. So this is just a pecan, a uh, local pecan countertop that we did. And we left the live edge on there because it's kind of nice. Yeah. Nature has a lot of chaotic beauty to it. Right. And this is the only part of the treehouse that's not in a tree, correct? So, correct. I mean, you have the plumbing, so that's probably one of the main reasons why. Yeah, we did that on the ground. That way we can leave the treehouse really beautiful. Right. And so it has, you know, a full-size shower back here, toilet. Pretty standard, but also beautiful. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the treehouse. Okay, awesome. How high up are we right now, Will? We're 45 feet up in a tree. Okay. Let's talk about um, this structural element that you've added above the treehouse. Okay. So it's an arch structure that's kind of self-supporting because of the curved nature of it. Mm -hmm. And we've tied it in with all the trees to give them all structural support from side load. Okay. So during wind or any other things, they're not going to want to tip side to side. Part of the design was to create a canopy. So we have vines and other green matter growing across the arc mm. so that uh, there'll be shade and other things. Right, when it's not you know dead of winter like it is right now. Yeah, so it's, it's very green. Lush and green. Mm -hmm. And then what's the under area we got here? It's like a ravine? Or? Yeah, this is a riparian corridor or a limestone ravine. Really common to find cypress trees in this area because you can see there's actually groundwater coming out of these springs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it makes a beautiful backdrop. And then on the property here, you guys do a lot of zip lining. Yeah, we which, do. Which is why you like everything to be aerial, I believe, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. So I see a bunch of platforms throughout the property. How many acres is it? 88. 88 acres. Mm -hmm. And it ends at the nest tree house? No, it continues second? further on. We have the Loft Haven tree house further okay. down, and then it, eventually this creek empties into the Pardinalis River. Right, but the zip line tour oh, ends here, does yeah. actually come to the tree house. It does, kind yeah, of like a, up there. An awesome climax to a zip line tour. Yeah. So it's pretty cool to be able to zip line in Texas and end at a tree house. All right, so what are we looking at here? So this is the kitchen of the treehouse, or kitchenette. Um, we provide you with a little oven, a coffee maker, a fridge. That way, if you want to bring some stuff with you, you can and uh, cook here and prepare mm -hmm. it here. One of the ideas behind the nest was to make it more geared towards families. So we built this really big table out of, this is Cypress from our property. Mm -hmm. And uh, that way, people can play cards around it, or Risk, or whatever board games they want to get into. Right, right. And there's full electricity in this uh, yes, treehouse? Yes, yeah. yeah. The interior design is also really, really well done. Thank you. I mean, it looks like a normal home. You wouldn't, you wouldn't really know that you're up in the trees unless you, Look you know, outside. go outside. How did you get into treehouse building, or what's the inspiration there? Well, there's a lot of inspiration, <laughs> but part of my inspiration was I wanted to inspire other people to dream and to uh, think of what's possible. And so that was really part of my major uh, inspiration to do treehouses. How many have you done now? Um, this would be my fourth treehouse that I've done for Artistry. Artistry started in 2012. Awesome. Okay, well let's continue on the tour. Yeah. So is this um, treehouse often rented out? Yeah, it is. It's rented a lot of time. Yeah, and you can, how many people can be housed here? Four to six. Four to six. Yeah. Cool. And every single level of the treehouse has its own balcony, as I can see here. Yeah, this one's actually designed to be an outdoor shower, although you wouldn't want to use it today. Oh no, I can see the icicles coming off of it, but that's a pretty cool idea. And then the water just can leak down below yep. and water the you know plants down there. Yeah, and we provide you with biodegradable soap. Yeah. Here we are at the living room and the bedrooms. Right, so this is a, a living room play area, and I yeah. really like the uh, furniture you guys have chosen, because again, it's not what you'd see in a typical treehouse. It's like a Hollywood Regency type yeah. uh, furniture here, but that's what makes it so 
you know, uh, regal almost in this treehouse. Yeah, we wanted to bring in a lot of different elements, some of them more modern and some of them really more kid-like. Mm -hmm. um, and this treehouse was designed, part of the multi-levels was for it to be almost like a Swiss Family Robinson style so that the family staying here could talk yeah. to each other from different levels and really have that experience. Yeah, definitely. And and all the different um, bridges that connect everything and staircases, you can definitely see that inspiration there. So there's two bedrooms that connect from this living room, correct? Yeah. Okay. So which one would you like to look at first? Well, this is the second bedroom, sometimes it's called the kid's bedroom. You can uh -huh. see the wall is very playful. Um, we did this all out of reclaimed pallet wood. That's but, what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool looking. And then you built this as sort of... Um, like three circles. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of seeing here, right? So the living room is one circle, this bedroom's another circle. Mm -hmm. And what was the idea behind that? Um, part of the idea was because we were reusing some platforms that we already had, mm -hmm. some steel structures. And so we took these circles and turned them into uh, pods and then put green roofs on top of them. So part of the idea was that circle is a more uh, nature found shape. It's not like a square. You don't see squares in nature that often. And so mm -hmm. it was mimicking what nature had built. Did that make the build more difficult though? Because I know <laughs> building around circles isn't as easy as building around squares. Yeah, it's definitely trickier, especially when you get to like windows or other things, oh, doors yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's all a labor Worth of love. Worth it though. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. And then speaking of windows, you have like a beautiful landscape view here where you can see that we've come down into mm -hmm. another level and you can see that drawbridge. And then I love all your fantasy books. I just have to say that. Yeah, this is, absolutely. This That's is a very whimsical thing to be staying in a treehouse anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Might as well bring in some fairy tales while we're at it. Yeah, and you notice we didn't provide a TV, so this is kind of like get getting uh, another layer back is like read books and you know play games with each other, and right. that's really what we wanted to focus this treehouse on. Cool. Well, let's see the master bedroom. Nice, very nice. Yeah, we did put a queen size bed in here. It was a debate whether it would fit, but it did, and that's I'm. I'm glad it, we did. How did you get it through? <laughs> <laughs> we bent it a couple times yeah, and we made it work, squished it so. around. But. Yeah, because none of the furniture was in as you were building. No. You know, so you had to think about, oh, what can we fit in now yeah. that we put these doorways. We have a lot of that going on with tiny houses, so yeah. it's an interesting thing. You can't fit a lot through that little door either. Mm -hmm. So what's this wood here? It's actually old cider casks. Mm -hmm. uh, so we reclaimed a bunch of uh, cider casks from a company that's local and we just resurfaced them and then put them back together and it kind of gives this room the, the interior feel of like a barrel. Right, no, you're right, it does. And then what do we have for the uh, flooring here? This is reclaimed cypress wood floors. Yeah, and it has a different look than the cypress table we saw upstairs. Is it just uh, stained differently or? No, this is actually just weathered. Okay. It turns very gray. The sun likes to gray out uh, wood, so mm -hmm. that's what you're seeing. Are these tree houses insulated? Yeah, they are. What yeah. kind of insulation did you use? Uh, there's an insulation inside that we used. It's a, a uh, called radiant barrier. Mm -hmm. It's like a uh, reflective and bubble or air type yeah. insulation. I have that on my tiny house. So yeah, they're, about. it's a really great lightweight form mm -hmm. of insulation that provides a lot of insulation. As well as the roof on top has soil. So mm -hmm. soil is one of the best insulators or dirt. Right, so it's a living roof, right? You can it actually is. grow plants in, yeah. in the summer when yeah. it's not the dead of winter like it is now. But mm -hmm. it can be, again, a very lush place. And then there's heating in here as yeah. well? Yeah, heating and cooling. Heating and cooling. Yeah. yeah, Texas in the summer, you probably need that. You get a little warm. Yeah. So is this all lit up at night? How do people see where they're walking? Yeah, it is lit up. We've run string lights around so that it's visible at nighttime. Right. And but, on the property, you guys have a lot of renewable energy. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Like yeah. Solar and... Yeah, solar and water and wind. Are you using that for the treehouse? Yeah. Yeah, the treehouse is almost entirely powered off solar. Awesome. So right now we're in the, what will be a butterfly conservatory? Or yeah, bu a butterfly hatchery. So okay. this will be where the chrysalises are hatched and then all the vines and other things that we've planted all over around the nest are going to be for uh, butterflies either like hatching or um, their larvae, the caterpillars eat it or they feed the butterflies. Right, that's awesome. And we're on the highest level or I guess there's another platform up there. Yeah, there is another platform up there. If you're daring enough, you climb up the ladder. <laughs> what it, uh, maybe not, but we can always look at it. What is it used for? Uh, it's just a crow's nest and it was originally built just for watering the planter boxes that we've put up there. Mm -hmm. So we've put positioned a lot of different planter boxes around the art structure. That way uh, it grows in faster. 
What kind of um, critters do you guys get out here? Mostly small critters here in Central Texas. We have some foxes, gray foxes, um, rock squirrels. One of the coolest creatures you'll see is a, a great horned owl mm -hmm. or a red-tailed hawk. Oh, cool. They really like these high perches from the cypress trees, and then they use the surrounding area for hunting. That's kind of, I think, pretty neat to yeah. be able to like live or stay within like nature, you mm -hmm. know? Awesome. Well, is there anything else we can say about this treehouse, or should we check out the other one? Let's check out the loft. Okay, awesome.